Hello there, it is your illustrious and mysterious and blatantly always gone host. Sheesh, I'm always more gone like a father getting milk, which is often true, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding, it's just, I don't know. It's not been taken as, not as serious as I used to be. But, you know, I guess we could skip all the formalities and gaslighting and just get right to it. You know, I kind of miss a lot. I kind of just miss the olden days, you know? I, I miss how things were. I miss how things were just kind of just simple. And I'm not saying I'm like a professional unk or nothing. You know, just not like an old man. I'm only like 25, but I feel like I lived here for decades at this point. <laughs> Maybe because just so much has changed over the years, you know? Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, gaming, anime. All that has changed for the better or for worse, and I just don't understand why. Every time I keep going back on it or keep looking at old things, I just get that wave of nostalgic that just robs me of my happiness for a moment. I mean, I found this YouTube playlist that had all like the SFM Tier 2 videos, all the good ones, and I'm just like, damn, that was like 12 years ago? 8 years ago? 14 years ago? I was like, it was that old? And then I could just feel myself rapidly aging, like just falling apart. And it's like, damn, I was like young watching this. I was, I remember while I was watching this on, on my shitty Android tablet that I always keep breaking or on a nice little phone or on my on a computer on YouTube. I'm like, oh man, I remember, I remember the, uh, 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 Sabotage or, or something like that. Go back to go watch like the old Sonic, you know, Sonic short videos and there were like fossils. Look at Sprite videos. And I'm like, damn, all this was so good when I was young. And some of it, yeah, I'll admit, it was kind of cringe to look at. Some of it was definitely painful to the soul, but I ain't gonna lie. I would endure it knowing that I was happy back then. Some of it was, was funny. Hell, some of it still holds up to this day. Or making my humor's been shit. I think the reason why I, I could watch old YouTube videos and not die a slow, painful death is the fact that, like, and take this in like, some kind of like dark, twisted, you know, kind of can of fate. But me not having a life outside of my home was probably the reason why I enjoy my life so much right now. I don't care much about my social etiquette, my appearance really. I mean, I still dress casually, still dress good, you know, gotta look good, I don't look like a bum. Never really care for the outside life, never care for parties or impressing nobody. You know, I just kind of just live life how I want to live it. Now there's some things I, I have regrets of, things I miss, things I wish I could have done differently or done better. But all that is just like, you know, puddles and ponds, basically. Puddles and oceans. The little just bloop, little splash in a big old ocean. <laughs> this is like, jeez. Like, where's everything gone so much? It's just like, the last seven, eight months, it's just been, oh hell, the last two years has been nothing but just weird drama and just shocking revelations. And me discovering more about myself and trying to change as a person for the better or for worse that's all i've been trying to do it's just just greatly improve more and more often because it just feels wrong to just keep being the same after for so long especially after graduation you know five years six years now you know i just stayed the same i never tried to improve or grew all i just kept thinking was life was good no more school no no pressure of going out and living life like an adult i could just stay here and play ps4 all day and and just relax. And then I realized, fuck, I need money. I need money. I need you no know, resources. I need a life. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> I guess it didn't help a lot because I was always on VRC all the time, VR chat. And I mean, I don't regret it. Not one bit. I love being on there. I met a lot of good friends on there. Met the love of my life on there. It's all been good. It's been happy. I've been enjoying my life. But I guess it's just like I needed something more than what I have. I, 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 it all kicked in two years ago when I realized I grew so complacent. I grew so normal to my daily life. Never try to prove, never try to strive, not try to do anything, just live for the sake of living. And then it grew lonely. It grew kind of sad. I didn't have no friends to speak of that weren't online. You know, I didn't go out and do anything. You know, and this is me being hypocritical. You know, I do have friends outside, but I guess at the time it wasn't like, no one I could just immediately just throw my shit on and just go out there and meet them. It was just far away. They're all the way back in my hometown in Brookshire. I never really had anyone down here. Well, I don't know anyone besides family, so I guess you know it's kind of take it with a grain of salt kind of thing. <laughs> but 
I wanted to do more and it just I guess I just kind of got bored of the same thing wake up wake up at probably like two to three in the morning in the afternoon obviously stay up the entire day playing video games you know edging before edging became cool and then stay up all night until probably like eight in the morning fall asleep rinse repeat probably some of those days I'll spend all day playing on VRC and just hang out with the people on there other days I'll probably be gaming all day other I never even leave my room half the time so I guess when I finally got this job at Walmart which was like what seven eight months ago it felt new to be kind of like to start over like the like Bojack Horseman it was supposed to be a fresh start <laughs> and I don't regret it I met a lot of nice people there my bosses are cool my coworkers are all right I mean like my apartment sucks sometimes but you know it's a job it's, it's a job at retail for all things were retail and supermarkets of course it's gonna fucking suck it's a job after all no job in the world has ever meant to be fun you can't even say YouTube's even a fun job anymore given how it's so anti-user friendly <laughs> shit have you ever tried to be on YouTube why do you think I leave it all the time because because for some reason if I'm, if I'm not constantly uploading on YouTube shorts because I don't have the will or the mean I don't know how I I don't have the will or the consistency to keep uploading YouTube shorts all day like a maniac to farm views and likes like that you know I prefer to pump videos out on my own pace and whenever I'm fucking ready <laughs> hmm. which ready is gonna be coming soon this fall given how there's another coffee talk game I know I know everyone hold their booze and applause man I still haven't yet to do coffee talk 2 and yet there's gonna be a third one coffee talk Tokyo which I'm holy crap I'm just busting a load at that a third game fuck now they want me to pre-order it I'm already gonna go broke this month. I got Sonic X Shadow Generations. I right, got Master Detective Archives Code Rain. I right, got Black Ops 6. I, it's like there's so many games I gotta pre order this month. Oh, my pockets are gonna be hurting. And I'm still paying off this badass computer I got to even make these videos and play my games the way I do. Oh boy, I might need to pull some strings here. Maybe I might chill. Hey guys, you want to subscribe to my Patreon? It's not, it's not real yet, but you know, I'll make it in the meantime. You could give money to a channel that doesn't even exist really, and that will hardly upload as it is, and you get to watch your boy force his ass to make more content just for you. You know what? Maybe that might be in my, my slogan, my little thing. I'll put that in the maybe pile. But, <laughs> oh man. Anything else ever I really cared about really to talk about? Mm, the internet being hypocrites as usual. I think the one thing that, that shocked the shit out of me today was the fact that, you know, Zenla Zone Zero or Triple Z, the, the, the other Honkai Star Rail, Genjin Impact, Honkai Impact Third, Hoyoverse Studio making game, has a straight ship, and everyone's losing their freaking minds. Well, mainly all the Twitter tards. I thought of it as ironic given how what. What I'm thinking about. I think it was ironic given how how everything is nowadays. And take my what I'm saying as a as a you no know, with grain of salt. This is just me having an opinion. I'm not really backing up the shit that I say, not even 100 percent But holy crap, this world has gotten too weird, you know? Everyone thinks about the gay stuff and the LGB and coming out and all that it's just so normal. It's painfully despairingly boring. It's kind of like a flip-flop on his head. We're living in a weird timeline where being straight and just hetero is like the most horrible, vile thing you could ever be. Like, you're being like the black sheep because you're not queer. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Trust me, I support all kinds of things like that, you know, that get your car going or make you feel how you feel, you know? But I feel like that's just the weird thing now. Like, you're straight, you're evil. Straight ships, nah, they had to be gay. Why? Because, I don't know, it, it makes low self-esteem people feel better about themselves. And I'm going to be honest, as evil as this may say, finding self-worth in fictional media does not help you. How about you grow a spine? Thank you very much. I hold my peace. Moving on from that, we're not elaborating to that. No. <laughs> no, I should. I'm just kidding, guys. You know I'm just being very satirical about all this shit. As your, as your favorite degenerate YouTuber, I do not mean or say any of the shit that I, I even back up. I say a lot of shit, but ultimately it's just, you know, 
me just spitballing and saying things. I'd be saying the most out of pocket things, and you think I even back it up with even a clam of absolute? Hell no, I don't. If you do find worth in fictional media like I do, you know, because I'm a blatant hypocrite, then please keep doing it. We like that kind of shit. But don't make it toxic, okay? If you're safe about it, you're normal about it, we support you. But if you're just psychotic about it, then nah, alright, you gotta log off, you're done, you hear me? You gotta log off for today. <laughs> oh, other than that, nothing's been going on. Family life is normal for the most part, at least far from what I can tell. This work is normal, just living it. And me being a YouTuber, coming back to the fold, I'm ready for it this time. I know I keep taking all these long ass hiatuses. I know I don't upload as consistently as I used to because I remember like, remember before I got this damn job, I was at least uploading like every other week or at least within like a three time span. Oh, those are the days. Remember I used to make cap cuts? Remember I used to make those and actually have passion behind them? Sure, they would just re edited footage and just simply just splice over one over another. But it was meant with passion, it was meant with vigor. It was, it was pushing me to like actually eventually stop doing that and create my own. <sighs> Those were the days, am I right, guys? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should get another intro going for my YouTube channel. So at least say uh, I have a reason to keep going. Hell, I've made a whole new like intro. I gotta, I gotta use it. Or, or, or am I a bum? <laughs> No oh, man. Are you enjoying the gameplay in the background? It's currently of MVM from TF2. Yeah, I'm that much of an old ass fossil. So I played TF2. I never had this game for, like ever when I had my first computer. Happily dubbed Mother Base Zero or the MB or the MBO. And then I played the hell out of that game. I had too many. I had too much hours on TF2. <laughs> Same with Gary's mod before I killed MBO. And then when I got the mother base number two, the MBO, that with the MB2, dubbed it Epsilon. <sighs> it was a whole different game. I wanted to, but I couldn't, because that computer was shit. Well, it's like, if we're paying $100 for a computer, that doesn't really do things that a computer should. <sighs> it was just a working computer. That's all it needed to be. Then I got my laptop. <sighs> Archibus. And then it was just okay. It, it was a nice $400 laptop, but it was okay. It lasted for a couple of years. And then I got my current computer, which I'm recording on now. Avalon. A, a vast upgrade from the three predecessors. And now I can keep up for once with all the shit that I do. All the demanding games I play, the emulations that need like 42 terabytes just to run at the point. She's gonna kill my laptop playing these emulators. I just want to play Shadow the Hedgehog for the 40th time. Is, is something wrong with me for wanting to play Shadow the Hedgehog again? And 100% complete it again because I'm a psychopath with no sense of self-worth or preservation? No, okay, be quiet. <laughs> oh, man. I think in other news that keeps surprising me that I, you know, I, will, op I will never openly admit on, on a community tab is the fact that that Danganronpa video that I probably posted two years ago still gets views and it's probably the reason why I still even have subscribers right now because I don't understand why out of any other vi video I uploaded since then that one little dang grumpa video that's probably no longer than probably less than 20 seconds have made consistently more views is it because everyone keeps thinking I'm a dang grumpa youtuber even though I really want to be one I mean but I don't think I could I don't think I really would have anything to say Hell, I did what I wanted to do. I had that dang romp with all trial super cut. I literally did that with my with my friend. We did like three like three live streams and I made it to a super cut on YouTube. And that made cheeks of numbers. I really wish it did make more views though. I really wish. Me and him just talked about it and just yapped and have fun. But that one little just V3 survivors remaining thing, and I just added the dang romp with two voice line over it that shit makes more views than the shit that i wipe my ass with it don't make no damn sense oh man i mean i don't like i don't mind i'm not gonna lie i don't mind it if it keeps giving me more engagement then honestly i might just turn heel and go back to my original plan of becoming a dangarampa youtuber i got all the games all i gotta do is get v3 on my pc along with ultra despair girls and then I'll just dead ass and start live streaming or recording walkthroughs of all of them. 
or not walkthroughs, playthroughs of all of them. So I have my own little cute commentary. Live streaming Danganronpa V3. So that way my friend who could, who could watch this video will hear me complain about the V3 ending and hear me go on like a four hour tangent about it. I know you can hear me. When you eventually die playing Ace Attorney, I'll be waiting for you. You hear me? Your grave's gonna be looking just like mine in this dang and rapa hell. <laughs> oh. Me and him are good friends. I enjoy it too much. <sighs> you know, by the time this video comes out, it should have a new intro with the boot because it's gonna be great. Like that new intro will be the new chapter of my in this Cryo Kuma channel. Which maybe I should probably shorten the Kuma or Cryo or come. Nah, that last one that might be a good idea. <sighs> but it'll be good for the for the viewers. If you guys ever want more delicious content or anything, start putting up your comments, start putting up your opinions, your thoughts, all of it. As a YouTuber with nowhere to go and no plans to do, I would love to hear the, the ideas of the fan base. To hear the ideas of what you want, what you want to hear, live streams, tier lists, is, hell, it could be just simple, li like walkthroughs of games I already probably smoked through casually on a Tuesday. Whatever you want, I want it. And yeah, if you don't mind it, I can even do it. Just name your price. As a YouTuber with no boundaries or no morals, I wouldn't mind to sell my soul for the for the green dollar. What could possibly go wrong beyond my own little self-worth and me losing my channel? As long as nothing too blatantly clickbaity or too dangerous or blatantly gonna get my channel deleted, I will stream it. <laughs> it cannot be any worse than what I do now. Help you a lot better than just leaving this channel to gather dust every six blue moons. Just like so upload content to it when I feel like it. <sighs> I think we've all wrapped up here. I think you should definitely get this plan in motion. Am I right, lads, or am I right? But that's gonna be it for today. I have been your lovely host for the most, and until next time, I have gradually and happily bid you adieu.